because this is the Nisi people are used to seeing. And you walked in. They wanted to know wh what was going on under underneath this. Oh, listen, those people listen. Hey, hey, they were not kind. I was like, oh, my God, I got a new job. This is going to be so wonderful. And as an actress, we're trained to go straight in that hair and makeup room. Who they got in there? They got anybody black? What they going to do? What we doing? <laughs> And you go in there and you come out 45 minutes later and you look like angels have been dancing on your face. But with that particular job, it was one whereby they didn't want the glamorous hair, the glamorous makeup. But the one gift I will tell you came out of it is that I, be, I was able to become comfortable in my truth on camera. Um, so for me, that was a blessing because, you know, we look, we, you know, you, you wanted to all look shiny all the time. And that's not always but, to get. And this has served you well. And, and matter of fact, you were nominated twice for an Emmy yes. for getting on. Thank you. Which when I first saw you, we were in a hotel in New York and I said, you're going to get nominated you did for say an that. Emmy. Um, and, and we're expecting another nomination to come shortly. Um, and this has served you well for doing Claws because you have to be stripped. You, you know, as an actor, this is an actor's dream. You play so many different levels in Claws. You, you are betrayal. I'm tired. One of my favorite scenes is when you were sitting on the toilet peeing and your brother, Dean, who's played fabulously by Harold Perrineau. Oh, my goodness. Your, your brother has special needs. And, it, you know, you played so beautifully the plight of a woman who just has the whole world on her shoulders mm -hmm. and still being bothered. So you, those kind of, how do you feel and how do you approach playing so many different levels on this show? What I will tell you is I'll be honest with you, because I did comedy for so long, it was like in my DNA. You know what I mean? I could be on my way to work with Cedric and look at the script in the car. Huh? I'm going to do what? Bo boys, what's happening at the church? Okay, yeah, I got that. And then I would walk in there with very little preparation, but, but because I, I had tuned that instrument up. 